In this video, I'm going to talk about the best route combination that you can run in Madden 23, in my opinion, of course, but it's the best. Let's get into it. I'm talking about the short-sided corner route. Now, that gets open against every single coverage in the game, except for one, but that coverage is garbage. No one runs it. I mean, if they run it, then good luck to them. I am talking about the bunch short-sided corner route. But before talking about anything else, this is not bunch specific. For example, in the Henry ebook that I did, I also broke this down out of the play flood, for example. So now if I just come out in any coverage, let's just call it cover three drop. You can see we have the corner route going to the short side. I just streaked Smith right here, so I'm gonna uh, snap the ball. And you see how that corner route gets open. Very easy. Same is true for bunch. I'm gonna talk about bunch mostly because Bunch is in more playbooks and more people are running bunch than tight slots, but this is not bunch specific by any means. So Z spot, I'm gonna call that. And I just wanna first of all show you that this gets open against every single zone coverage. I'm talking about cover two right now. So snap the ball, try to step up, just have a streak there. And you can see, bam, Harrison open. Very easy against cover three. I've already shown this, but I'm gonna show it again just for good measure, cover three drop. You guys can see they switched on defense, not going to show the player, but this is cover three. You see Conrad gets open. So what we notice is this has to be played by zone drops. Of course, as soon as someone starts setting zone drops, then you can get open in a, var a variety of different ways. But I want to start talking about the read. So the read is going to be to throw it to the flat as soon as possible. So you snap the ball right there, throw it to the flat, try to get yards. This is a very unique defense where we have uh, this guy in the three rec hook and he just plays whatever. So we're going to change this up a little bit. So we're a little bit more meta. I'm going to come out in the play DB fire two, And we're going to call Z spot. Baseline press. This is going to be the setup. I recommend blocking the running back just so we know what he's doing. First read to the tight end, high pass, pass lead that to the outside. And you see against the cover two, we have that. Then now audible to cover three. As you can see right here on defense, cover three, same setup. We run the play and we see, okay, flat is open. Take the flat and then try to take it up the field. Taysom Hill, he's got good speed, so he's gonna do a fine job for you. Move the mic back a little bit. So against cover three, we saw that this is no problem. Against man coverage, let's just run this against man coverage. We see that the corner route, if you have someone with short and elite on that, you see, oops. I mean, we got a step. I can show that in replay, but I'm just gonna run it again. You guys saw that we got a step and the pressure just got home. So cover two. Man, snap the ball. You see, he lights up. We get a step, very easy. Corner outs with short and lead do a great job against man coverage. So, against any stock coverage, we're gonna do fine. If this gets usered, of course, we still have the left side of the field. So, for example, we can uh, just run a setup like this, where we can then also read the left side of the field, throw it to buyers and so on and so on. But I'm just gonna focus on the right side for now. Now let's get into some of the ways that your opponent might adjust to this. One of the ways would be to man up R1 and that shouldn't play it that well, but sometimes it does because he has a little bit of outside leverage. In that case, of course, first read is always gonna be uh, to throw it to X, but I'm gonna go into instant replay and show you why this corner can sometimes and not play as well against this corner, uh, this cornerback in Anchorage, because you see he's got outside leverage, and so he really makes it difficult, and he has to kind of fight through a couple of players to get to the outside, which sometimes that can be a challenge, so just know if that corner gets manned up, you might have a little bit of a different uh, challenge, of course. X is open right here, and I get shed, which you know you love to see, but as a general rule of thumb, Man coverage is not going to do that great because you're taking away uh, someone, first of all, from the blitz. So the blitz is not going to come in as easily. If you still want to send the blitz uh, and you want to man up Hendrix, now this, of course, is a different story. So X is open right here. And then Ted Hendrix, because he has got inside leverage, then he gets speed to the outside. So your opponent has to kind of choose between uh, the lesser of two evils. First of all, he can lose a rusher and then take a little bit better care of the uh, of the corner route. But if he wants to keep that rusher and still play man coverage, then he's not going to have uh, too much fun. So another thing that your opponent might do is to run cover three invert, as I've broken down in one of the last videos. So I'm going to just set this up. I don't have all the people in the correct spots, but 
for the sake of argument, this is this is gonna be it. So I'm gonna set it up uh, like I showed you in that video, which is just like so. I'm going to set it up just like I've been doing the whole time for this video so far. And you can see that gets open. So cover three invert is not gonna take care of that. Yes. But there are some things that we can do. So I'm gonna get to what you can do against this in the, at the end. But for now, we see that a lot of meta defenses are not taking care of this. We can also run this against cover four if you want to. Cover four sometimes does a little bit of a better job against stuff like this. So let's see. Baseline press. This is how it looks on defense. Or on offense, rather. Nope. Doesn't do a better job, still open. Never pass, uh, never free from that, just a regular pass lead, that does a good job. But cover four drop show two, uh, cover four drop just, nope, doesn't do a good job. Snap the ball again, uh, just to show you that this is consistent. So we have got a pretty good play on our hands here. Now let's go to the one adjustment that actually will take care of this, DB fire two. And I'm gonna come out in Z spot, baseline press. We want an outside quarter on circle. That is what's going to make this defense work. So I'm going to snap the ball and you will see that R1 is going to be taken care of a little bit better. Yeah, now it's playing a little bit better. Of course, if you click on there, then you can make a play, get a pick or whatever. But we have the defense for this. So once again, baseline press, put circle in outside quarter. You can if you want put R1 into a hard flat and then put X into a middle half. At the middle third just like so snap the ball and now you will see that this actually does take care of this right there if you have someone better get an animation and that is kind of the defense of course if they have to run a specific defense then that defense is going to be weak against a lot of other stuff for example we just run uh, the corner out all the time and now we attack the middle of the field with some like verticals that's also a very real possibility so my entire point of this is, this is difficult to stop, this is difficult to defend unless for some specific adjustments and those adjustments can then be taken advantage of in a lot of other ways. This is not, of course, the end to, the, uh, to offense, like there is so much more to offense that you can learn if you subscribe to this channel if you want to. Um, but we just see a lot of different chances uh, to get easy yards. This flat route is absolutely money and then once again, if they shade down, obviously we're gonna have over the top and that's gonna be a whole lot of yards, make someone miss, get a touchdown. So the main point of this is just to highlight the simple rock combination that this corner rock gets open against whatever zone your opponent throws at you. Cover three right now, snap the ball. Think he's gonna defend that? No. The reason why I say short side of rod is because it, this does not get open against the wide side of the field. So cover three plus a uh, spy. Unless you motion out the streak, this is not going to get open. And if you motion out, then obviously that's going to be a pretty big tell. But right here, you can see the zone is playing it appropriately. And you don't get any of the fun stuff. But this is very fun because like anyone who has no clue what he's doing, oops, uh, is going to get dotted by this because it's just a very difficult thing to defend. And you have to think it's only one hot route, like streak. And then to block the running back, you max protect and that's it. Then you snap the ball. They have to make a lot of adjustments maybe if they want to. Hi, Kev. Uh, it's a friend of mine who just went online. And we're gonna just streak, flat, and that's it. We can look to that slant backside if you want to. If you want, I can give you one setup for the backside just in case you're curious. I recommend a deep in route with a flat route to buyers if you can afford to not have to block your running back because this buyers, he first of all slows down that CB blitz really nicely out of dollar. So for example, if your opponent is only setting, uh, sending four people, then this flat route from Keith Byers is, should do an amazing job of slowing it down. If not, it's an easy check down. But if it does slow it down, then you have fun because it's basically like a block blocker who then goes on a route straight, straight away. It's a little inconsistent, but you see we got a nice check down. That is my rock combination that I would recommend. Of course, there's so much more you can do with this. You can if you want, like motion buyers out, put a C rod on the backside. And so you have uh, the ability to beat cover two in two different ways, which is always fun. But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, 
that's nice. Leave, the, leave a like on the video. Also, if you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments or hit me up on my other social media. I check the DMs there every day because I'm a Zoomer. What am I going to do? I'm going to look at my phone. I'm going to check DMs and all that. But till next time, peace.